Hey everybody, I uh, kind of want to go over one of my basic uh, survival bags. This is more of a get home slash bug out bag for me. I do have several packs. I've got some inch packs, some bug out packs, some get home packs. So this is part of my EDC. I don't carry this on my person 24-7, but it goes with me anywhere I go. So diving right into it, I'll try to keep this video as short as possible. Uh, I know a lot of people are going to ask about the pack. There's nothing special about this particular pack. It's an outdoor product. I got it at Walmart. It was like $25. Uh, it does well though. It's a good pack. It's got the molly webbing on it. It's got a bunch of compartments, uh, ways to divide my gear. So I do like that pack for, for the money especially. Starting at the top, we've got a headlamp. Um, I don't open them up. That way I can keep the batteries separated and keep them semi-waterproof in their pack. I've got a radio. This has AM, FM. It also has weather and it uh, has a solar charger and a wine charger, a uh, uh, crank. So I always have power on this. It's also got a flashlight on it, which does get fairly bright with, uh, when, I, when I give it a good wind. If I wind this for about 60 seconds, I'll get a good 15 minutes, 20 minutes of radio on it, which is cool. I've got a big tumbler uh, to boil water, and also I've got a nesting cup in the, in the bottom. So it's got its own handle here. So I can boil water, you know, pour it in a cup to cool and drink it. I can also cook food or what have you. Uh, to you, I try to utilize as much space as I can. So inside my cup, I can boil water to purify it, obviously. But I've also got some cordage and some lashings. And I've got a Sawyer, uh, one of the survival straws, and a bladder. Uh, if I don't have time, if I'm on the go and I just need water now, I can drink it out of that survival straw or use that survival straw to fill the bladder or to fill this cup. And I've got good, safe drinking water. I've got a gig here. Uh, somebody gave this to me. Um, you know, it's not hard at all to find a branch in the woods and hook the gig to it. I can get fish, frogs, whatever. I can also use it on a trap if I wanted to kill trap. Maybe like an old Viet Cong punchy trap or something, which is illegal. But uh, no one's barred in a survival situation. I've got this knife. It's a little cheapo knife. I think I got it for like a dollar or something. But uh, it's got a necklace on it, which is handy. I can hang it on me. Or the way the blade is with the double edge. I can hook this to a branch, to a stick, whatever, use it as a spear. It's just an extra knife, just an extra piece of kit. It doesn't hardly weigh anything. Like most people, I've got the Maroc Nib Companion. It's extremely sharp, good hard case. I've customized mine a little bit. I've got some cordage on here, some rubber bands. I've got a, a ferro rod, and, a, and I can strike that with the 90 degree spine on the, on the Maroc Nib knife. Also, also got two stormproof matches and a striker in there. So I've got some cordage, a couple different ways to make fire, and a, a cutting edge right here on this knife. Got two regulars. Ziploc bags, you, you know, you never know what you might use those for. Waterproof and something or carrying, maybe a little food source I've got or, or whatever. Uh, 550 paracord, this is uh, 50 feet of it, unopened. I love cordage. I've got one of the hand chainsaws. You know, you grab each end, you can saw branch down. These work all right, I've used them before. They don't work great, but they, they do work. And for what little space they tuck up, uh, they're handy to have. Um, I've got some Mylar blankets. I've got three of them in here, emergency Mylar blankets. I do like these. They're not wonderful, but they reflect heat and they'll signal for rescue. So I do, I do keep those uh, in all my packs. I've got a rat trap. A lot of people don't think about this, but a rat trap is a handy piece of kit. Doesn't hardly weigh anything. I've got rubber bands on it to keep it from jiggling around and making noise. But you can kill squirrels, rats. Um, I've never caught or killed a muskrat with it, but I know they'll kill squirrels on the spot most of the time. Sometimes a squirrel may try to run off with it and he may suffocate, he may strangle. But generally these will kill a squirrel right on the spot, which is very handy for procuring food. I've got a fishing kit, waterproofed in here. I've got some rubber bands on here to help keep it from jiggling around. But I've got a frog gig in here, another way to procure food. Procure food, I'm sorry. Uh, some monofilament lines, some, uh, some leaders, some hooks, some lures, a little screw that goes on the gig to hook it to whatever I choose to hook it to. Uh, some jigs in here. Just a, a good little fishing kit. This is waterproof too. If I drop this, it's supposed to float, which is handy. Got all these Stealth Angel survival kits. I've actually uh, pulled a lot of stuff out of this and used it somewhere else, but I do, I do keep this in here. It's got a compass. It's got a whistle. It comes with a flashlight. It didn't have any batteries with it, so I've got two batteries uh, packaged separate. Uh, the flashlight, I put a battery in. It's pretty bright. Also a little push button keychain light, which is handy, and one of the little metal credit card tools. So an extra piece of kit. Handy to have. I like redundancy. I've got a Smith & Wesson 22 pistol. Uh, it's got a 12 round mag in it. The mag is loaded. It's not chambered. 
I do also have a few hundred rounds of ammunition for it, hollow points. Uh, I got a vacuum seal to help with corrosion. I've also custom painted these. I custom paint most of my guns, not all of them, but most of them. Uh, so it blends. It's a flat paint. It blends. It won't glimmer or shine. You see a little shine off the package, but not off the gun for sure. I've got some rubber gloves. Never know when you might need to cover up your hands and keep your hands safe, that's for sure. Two, po two uh, ponchos. These are not great. They were cheap and they're good, but they are absolutely not great. Uh, but they're, they're, they're good to keep you out of the rain if you're moving. I've got, I believe, a dozen of the emergency, uh, how many ounces of these? Uh, 4.227 ounce emergency purified drinking water. I've got water on the spot. If I don't have time to purify water, if I can't find a water source right now, I've got water to keep me going. Some allergy medicine. I do have a separate first aid kit uh, that's pretty elaborate, but in an, in an O'Malley web hooked to my uh, bag. Allergy medicine I keep in this pack. Get bit by a spider or you're stung and you're allergic, whatever. You got some pills right there. A good Leatherman uh, multi-tool. Uh, the la the uh, latch on the uh, deal broke, so I've got rubber bands around it. But the Leatherman, it's a very, very nice Leatherman, actually. Uh, this is a Gerber knife. I've got I've had this for a long time. It's a really good knife. Locks in there pretty well. Um, I, this is a real thick blade, 90 degree spine. Just got the pre-made prefab holes in it so I could lash it, you know, and make a spear out of it if I wanted. It's got a little serration on it. The knife itself is very, very sharp. I keep it sharp. Also, the case, you can undo your Velcro and fold it down. It's got a sharpener in there. Those little sharpeners like that, I'm not a big fan of them, but in an emergency situation, they'd be definitely be handy to have. I've also got, uh, it's got two leg straps to come with it. I keep one on it, and then it's got the clip to go on my belt, so... That's, uh, that's how I wear it. That's most comfortable for me. I've got a fire kit. Uh, I keep it in this little fanny pack. I've got some dryer lint in here. Here's a lighter. And moving on to the inside of it. Another one of these waterproof cases here. Um, I've got three books of matches. Uh, regular household matches. Stormproof matches. A couple different lighters. Magnesium bar and ferro rod. And some napkins all in here. So just this by itself, I could go make fire with, and this is waterproof. So I keep my, my fire making tools dry. These are cotton balls with a bunch of gasoline. I can get these lit and get a fire going in cold or in wet weather with this. I've also got one of these fire starter logs. You know, these are 96 cents at Walmart. And I use these a lot camping. This this will burn for like a half an hour or more. These are great logs. Um, 96 cents too. So they're, they're very handy. I'm not sure if I put anything in the back compartment. Just no, I didn't. So let's leave that there. Uh, Two-person emergency tent. This has the mylar reflective on the inside of it. It comes with the cordage, the stakes, everything to set this tent up. And it's ready to go. So it fits in my bag perfectly, actually. And I've got a shelter ready to go. Now, this wouldn't be my ideal shelter if I was long-term outdoors. I would build myself a nicer shelter. But I've got shelter on the spot. So I've got a Gerber machete. This isn't a high-end machete. They're like $15 at Walmart, I think. But they, uh, it works well. Uh, I keep it sharp. I use it a lot. It's actually got the saw teeth on the back of it, back end of it. So I can saw with this. I can cut with it. I can actually slice with it because, again, I keep it very, very sharp. Shave your arm with that if you wanted to. We've got one of these 2,400-calorie food bars. It's divided into uh, six 400-calorie squares. So this is like an apple cinnamon flavor. I also write the years that I buy them on these. I've got a bunch of these in my packs. I think they say, yeah, five year shelf life. So I wanna know the year that I purchased this so I know when I need to consume it. I got a couple of these salty, sweet and salty nut cashew, just some protein ready to go. A couple little butter fingers, which aren't a big deal, but uh, they're a glucose rush, which maybe not a little rush, but I wanna break them to big food. A little rush to help me go do what I'm doing. Little uh, old school military can opener. Uh, if you don't have one of those, I highly recommend it. They take up no room. They're lightweight. These come from some of my MREs. I keep MREs in a lot of my kits and with my emergency food storage at the house. I have a bunch. But in here, I've got some gum. I've got the little, they're kind of like crystal light pouches to make drinks. Some toilet, pa some toilet paper. Also some salt. You know, so I've got some seasoning, salt, crushed red pepper. I've got some seasonings for my food, which isn't necessary. But how nice would it be? You know, you, you, you kill a squirrel and you got a little salt and pepper to put on it. So it just helps. It's a psychological advantage. Uh, let's see. Um, I think that's about it in this kit. 
Uh, I do have on, on my kayak, I keep some power cord bracelets. Man, I've got like 50 of these things. And I keep some mini carabiners, a little bigger carabiners. Some of these are climbing quality, but they're great for lashing stuff together. So this is my kit. This is this particular kit. I do have a bunch. Um, this one, again, stays in my pickup. It goes anywhere with me if I'm camping, if I'm hunting, if I'm just driving to town. It's always in my pickup. So if I'm in a different vehicle by chance, if I'm riding with someone, I take that pack, I put it in that vehicle. I always keep that on me. It's part of my EDC, uh, aside from the EDC that I keep on my person. So uh, if you've got any thoughts or opinions, just shoot them over to me. Um, I'd like to do a breakdown and a loadout of some of my other kits for you, uh, if anybody's interested. But uh, that's, that's this kit. So I appreciate you taking the time to watch.